What's up guys? I bought a whole bunch of Cat6 cables from varying lengths, starting at five feet, which is one and a half meters, around one and a half meters, all the way up to 300 feet, which is around 91 meters. And we're gonna see if cable length makes a difference on speed test to see if it's going to be a performance loss or not. So I've already done this for Cat5 e cables. This one's gonna be for Cat6 specific cables. And I will also uncoil the longer cables as well, just in case if there's interference there. Let's get started. So we're gonna concentrate on local speed tests. I'm gonna use Open Speed Test Server, so I'm gonna click on Start Server. So this is on my Windows machine, which has a 10 gig ethernet card. So all I need to do is on the Mac computer, I basically just need to go to the IP address and port. And everything on my network supports 10 gigs. So both the Windows machine supports 10 gigs, my Mac Mini with the M2 Pro chip, that one has the optional 10 gig card. So I'm gonna switch HDMI sources. So I'm currently on my Mac. I've gone to that IP address and port. I'm gonna click refresh and I'm gonna click start. So we're starting with the five foot cable, which is about one and a half meters. And I expect to get the full 10 gigs, uh, both for download and upload. And I can run an internet speed test real quick, just for a, not the best way of doing full duplex, but while it's running the upload, I can kick off a download test on this. And as you guys could see, the download and the upload are happening at the same time and it's not affecting one another. So there it is. So I basically got the full 10 gigs down and uh, obviously I'm gonna get the full five gigs up and down on my internet speed test. So, so yeah, full 10 gigs. Five feet, we're good. All right, now we're on the 15 foot cable, which is about four and a half meters, kicking off the test, and we should be, should be able to get to those full, just about the full 10 gig speeds. So ping and jitter are low, as, a, as I would expect them to be. So yeah, so almost to those 10 gig speeds for the download, and it looks like we're getting pretty similar for the upload, again, which is what I would expect. Okay, we're golden for 15 feet. Next up is the 35 foot cable, which is about 10.6 meters. We're gonna kick off the test. And yeah, this one's also very fast, which is again, what I would expect. So the results that I'm getting so far are pretty similar to the CAT5e results that I got for the speed tests. So again, all, almost 9.8, basically almost the full 10 gigs download and we're pretty much getting that for the upload. So everything's looking good. There it is, confirmed. All right, now we're on the 50 foot, which is about 15 meters. And at this point, the 50 foot cable is actually still coiled up because it should be able to reach those full 10 gigs, just about the full 10 gig speeds, even, even if it's coiled up. So obviously we got the 9.7, almost 9.8. And yeah, looks like we're getting that for the upload as well. So, so far so good, up to 50 feet, which is about 15 meters. All right, so I just connected the 100 foot cable, which is around 30 meters, and that's still coiled up as well. So let's see if it being coiled up makes a difference or not. So we're still getting just about those full 10 gig speeds. So let's see what happens with the upload. Almost there. Okay, yeah, we're pretty much there for the upload as well. So the 100 foot cable, which is around 30 meters, is still coiled up, still got to those full speeds, no problem with CAT6. So I just connected the 200 foot, which is around 61 meters, and already the negotiation, my switch is showing me it's connected at a five gig speed. So at this point, it's, it's not going to go much faster than, well, I mean, in theory, it should be able to go to almost five gigabits per second, but we're getting around four for the download. Let's see what happens with the upload. Now the cable is coiled up and I'm going to uncoil it after this test to see if uncoiling it actually makes a difference. Okay, yeah, so we got that so as you guys could see this is all coiled up so 
Let's uncoil it and see what happens. All right, kick off one more test. All right, so it's uncoiled. It's connected at the five gig speeds. It's this cable right here. And the other end of it is connected right there. And if I take it all the way, you guys could see that the cable is basically just all over the living room. Just, yeah. Makes no difference. Now we have the behemoth of the 300 foot, which is around 91 meters. We're gonna kick off a speed test. And the negotiation speed on my switch shows it's cap to gigabit speeds already. So I've actually disconnected and connected this a few times to see if it could connect a little bit faster. And it looks like it connected to 2.5 gigabits per second once. And when I was doing the speed test then, I was getting 2.5. But most of the time, trying it, I don't know, four or five times or something like that, it does connect at the gigabit speed. So we're going to un uncoil it to see if that makes a difference. Okay, so I've uncoiled the cable, the longest one. So it negotiated at the five gigabit per second speed. So it's this cable right here. And I'll show you guys all over the living room. It's all over. So it's not a perfect super straight, but I feel like it's separated enough that this is, this is what it is. So it's literally everywhere, near the Christmas tree, everything. So there it is, guys. Uncoil does actually make a difference. So it looks like the fastest uh, 300 foot or 91 meters can go is basically 4.3 down and 4.8, almost 4.9 up. So it negotiated at the five gigabits per second speed. I unplugged it and plugged it in a few times just to see if it would negotiate faster. Uh, but that's the one that usually defaults to. I didn't see it go faster than that. So there it is, up to 100 feet or 30 meters, get the full 10 gigs basically. Above that, we're pretty much capped to under five gigs. So there it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.